So you want to know if you should do this? <laughs> oh, this is such a bad idea. Oh. Hey you and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're doing well. Today, as you might guess from the title of this video, we're going to talk about my hair and this whole process of cutting it. So if you've been following me on my Instagram or if you've seen any of my other videos, you might know that I used to have quite long hair actually and so this is actually quite a drastic change. Now this also means that this isn't going to be one of those videos where I contemplate about whether or not I should be cutting my hair as I already decided to do it. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> This is rather going to be me sharing my story, my reasons for cutting my hair, what I thought of Brad's tutorial, should you do it, and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's just, you know, jump right into the nitty-gritty details of this video. So I thought that I would start this video out by sharing my personal hair story with you because maybe some of you can relate to it and maybe you just want to know my thoughts or the thoughts that I had prior to cutting my hair so here goes. Now I've had long hair ever since I can remember. It's just been a part of who I am and the way I looked for such a long time so I can't really imagine not having long hair. And the first time that I kind of considered whether or not I should try to get short hair like this or even shorter was I think around high school where I was really into K-pop and I saw some of these idols have super short hair and curly hair and I just thought that it looked so vibrant and fresh and cute and I thought okay maybe I should do that as well but every time I try to ask someone should I cut my hair or should I do it I kind of I was kind of met with I wouldn't call it resistant but everyone was telling me that oh no you shouldn't do it it's such a shame or you have such gorgeous hair and it, it would be wasteful to cut it and I think that the argument that kind of prevailed was it's such a shame. So whenever I consider doing it, whatever, whenever I consider playing with my hair or doing something different, everyone would say that it's such a shame and people would ask me, Are you sure? Do you really want to do this? Do you know what you're going to look like without all of your hair? So every time that I got this spark of inspiration or this little burst or this feeling in my stomach that okay now's the time to actually do something people would always ask me are you sure and i think that getting this question over and over again kind of it kind of stopped me in my thought process and i always you know considered it but i never really did something active about it so yeah other people's opinions started to matter more and more and because everyone was questioning my resolve to do it, I just ended up doing nothing. Now the other part about all of this is that I feel like, especially as a girl, your hair becomes a part of your identity. So because I always felt insecure about the way that I looked, like my body and stuff like that, I started to compartmentalize it and value other stuff about myself. So I really valued having pretty hair, I valued having like brown eyes and you know beautiful brows and stuff like that so it was part of my i don't know physical appearance gained a lot of importance and it became such a big part of my identity so i kind of got scared to play with my hair and i didn't really feel like cutting it so even though i wanted to experiment i didn't really i, I didn't feel brave enough because i started to get insecure and i just kept asking myself if i don't have pretty hair then who am i as a person so i think that these two aspects of my hair are what always held me back like people asking are you sure you have such gorgeous hair and also my hair being a part of my identity so that's what always held me back and so as you might know there's this thing called corona which is affecting people worldwide me included so the last couple of weeks i just kind of i've kind of been feeling off I haven't been feeling like myself and 
so I just couldn't find any motivation to do anything. I didn't feel like making YouTube videos. I didn't feel like studying. I didn't feel like, you know, going through with anything. And so this lack of motivation, it just, I just felt like I was being weighed down by life and I had some personal issues, some personal stuff. A lot of my family suffered health-wise, so I was just being weighed down. And I think that when you have long hair, it can kind of also weigh you down. And by the end of me having my long hair, I just, I just, you know, kept having it in a bun. I didn't really play with it. I didn't do anything about it and so when I moved to Copenhagen with my brother and his girlfriend Melanie I saw that she was actually the one who cut his hair and I thought that um, okay this girl can uh, control scissors so I just jokingly asked her if she would want to cut my hair and she was like yeah sure we can do it how many inches do you want to cut off and I was like you know I just want to go from here to here so you know it's no big deal if you can do it I mean it's, it's not going to be a problem I believe in you and she was like mm -hmm. okay do you have a guy so this is kind of where Brad's tutorial just jumped up <laughs> YouTube started recommending me Brad's videos and I just saw his tutorial with people cutting their hair at home and I was like, okay, you know, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna try it, we are gonna do it, and uh, this happened. So, now you know, like, my reason for doing it and let's just, you know, talk about do I like it. So now that you know my backstory and my thoughts before cutting my hair, I just thought that I would tell you about the whole process and what I think of Brad's tutorial. So what do I think? Now, is it the best video out there on how to cut your hair? I don't know. Is it advisable to cut your own hair? I also don't know. If you watch every other girl who has followed Brad's video, you might notice that the results are, you know, kind of mixed, kind of uneven. I mean, if you look at my own hair, it's not because it's perfect. I mean, now I've styled it, but it's, you know, it has its faults. It's not perfect, but with that being said, do I regret all of this? Absolutely not. I am just so, so, so happy about my choice. I am so glad that I finally got to do it. I mean, I've just been wanting to do this for such a long time, and yes, it's not perfect but it's still a new length and it's kind of you know it was just it was the perfect change that i needed it was the perfect decision for me i don't know how do i have like a how mm, what is this what is this a few moments later for me personally, I'm so glad that I followed Brad's tutorial. It just made me do something that I've been contemplating about doing for such a long while. And although it's not perfect, it's just as if this weight has been lifted off my shoulders and I just feel like a new version of myself or I feel like I'm the right version of myself. And after I got my hair cut, I also saw this quote on Pinterest a few days later saying something about that. When girls get your hair cut, it's more than just the dead ends that they cut off and for me it was kind of a new beginning especially during corona and during everything i just feel like i don't know i just feel so much more like myself i feel more fun and vibrant and also once i kind of started cutting i couldn't really stop myself so i also didn't plan on getting bangs but you know here we are and um i mean i'm not mad about it so is it perfect no, but am I glad that I did it? Yes! <laughs> so I think that if there's anything that I want you to take away from this video, it's that you shouldn't be too afraid to try out new things and you shouldn't have like one aspect of yourself that becomes super important for your identity whether it's your hair or something material or maybe it's your health or maybe it's your fitness journey because sometimes things can go wrong like a few years ago i got a haircut by a hairdresser and she completely destroyed my hair and i just went home and i cried for three days so i also think that that experience kind of made me be able to have a more you know chill vibe when cutting my hair this time I mean, if hair is super important to you, then 
don't follow this tutorial because you won't get a perfect result and you might end up being sad but if you want to try something new if you need something new to happen in your life if you want to have fun then you know you know just do it you know it's it's just hair i mean yes it is important for me and it's important for a lot of girls but i just think that it's so important to be able to have fun and play with your identity and always remain flexible so maybe people have been telling you that it's such a shame that you want to cut your hair or that cutting off super much of your hair is going to be like a mistake and people are going to ask you are you sure but you know what there's not really going to be that many people who are going to watch you during corona because you are at home and no one cares about your hair so you know You might just as well cut it So yes, I mean have fun, stay flexible in your approach, enjoy life, have fun, try out new things I think overall if you have this gut feeling, if you just know that something needs to change then I would say just do it but if you can, I would highly recommend having someone else cut your hair. Like, as I said, I got my friend Melanie to cut it and that was super nice and super important for me because that also allowed me to relax more and have fun, but you know. And yes, my friends, I think that this concludes this video. I think that, you know, if you've been waiting for a sign, if you made it so far, I would just say, you know, go ahead, do it, get a friend, cut your hair, try something new. It's Corona. I mean, everyone is just feeling eh, eh, eh. So, you know, have fun, you know, just, just, you know, take care of yourself. I'm sure that you're doing the best that you can do. And I just hope for the best for you, you know, I just hope that you are safe, that you are sound, that you feel loved and that was it for me. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or any feedback or anything that you want me to know, just leave a comment down below and I'll also make sure to link Brad's video down below. Take care, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Uh, I've done. Uh. Being a YouTuber is so hard. No one tells you how hard it is to put yourself out there for people to judge you. Mm -mm 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 -mm.